Well, hello, this is the Lazy PC. It is the day after Cyber Monday, a few days after Thanksgiving, which to you and yours, happy Thanksgiving. If you are outside of the US, well, good luck trying to get a hold of anyone inside the US for the past weekend or so. We tend to take a couple days off for Thanksgiving and 4th of July and, you know, now you know how we feel when China takes off Chinese New Year when we're trying to get all of our stuff shipped. Today, on the bench for review is the Sky RC LiPo Pal SK-50007, yes, a voltage checker and equalizer for LiPo battery. So, not to get into very detailed talk about LiPo batteries right now, because we'll, we'll do that another time. Uh, balancing multi-cell batteries is very important because that helps them to discharge evenly. If you've ever had a cell go bad in a battery, it's typically because that cell was discharged beyond what is safe to recharge it at, and it couldn't recover. The LiPo cells typically get drawn down you let them rest after you use them, which they'll recover a little bit, and then from there you'll recharge them. And LiPos are very interesting. They have very high discharge rates and very low charge rates. Keeping them in balance is very important to longevity and how many cycles you're going to get out of them. So this is a very helpful instrument and often very underrated for new pilots that are just getting into the hobby. Um, a big use case where you might see the need for this is if you're using a cheap charger. A cheap charger will tend to actually charge cells out of balance, or God forbid, you're charging through the main connector, whether, whether it's the Dean's connector or the XT60. And if you're using a multi-cell LiPo battery, please do not do that. A, use a balance charger. B, use a good balance charger. Don't burn your house down. Um, so if it came down to buying either a better charger, this is the P606, we're going to do a review on this later, between buying a better charger or buying a balancer, get a better charger first. This needs to be top priority if you're using a bad charger. However, once you have that and you're having to buy some more batteries and you're, you know, you lose a few and you're like, man. I really don't want to pump out more money for batteries. This will be a good step along the way. So let's look to solar. All right, so in the box, there are, you know, a few things. A is the LiPo Pal itself, along with a little wrist strap, which I attach. I don't, I don't actually put it on my wrist and carry it around with me. It's, it's not very useful like that, but it is there. And you know, it makes it handy. Whenever I see that blue strap, I know what it is. As well as some instructions that are pretty well written and in English. So really nice job on that. Um, display resolution is a hundredth uh, of a volt and I actually find that to be pretty well correct. Hence that plus or minus 1.5% tolerance, I would say is pretty true. Works with one or a two to three, six S LiPo packs, just fine. Obviously you can't balance a one S, although you probably could check the, the voltage on it. I don't have a one S to try that with. Balancing current, 50 milliamps. Basically what this is doing is it is discharging cells that are high and that's the rate that it'll discharge it at, which isn't much. Um, the other interesting thing is that if it can't balance the cell or balance the battery after 180 minutes, it will just go to sleep, I guess, in order to prevent damage to a cell that has really high resistance. Something that's supposed to come in here that I'm missing is the Flight Power Thunder power adapter. However, not something I would use and not something I'm concerned with. So in use, this is very simple. Basically, you... You take your lead and you plug it in with a negative at the top. And it will show you, A, your voltage per cell, 
4.17 on this as well as a battery fuel gauge is what it calls it but basically the percent of the pack that you have left and this shows 97 percent however 4.17 was what this self balanced at what i like to do is i like to take my battery after resting after use of course charge it put it on this once it's on this i put it back in the bag with a green cap and then i know that it's been charged and balanced if you have a battery that has a bad cell one of two things will happen um I have seen this as it shows in the instructions where it actually shows error for that cell. However, if the cell has dropped below a certain voltage, then typically it just doesn't show the cell at all. So like in the case of this pack, you'll only see two cells, 4.18, 4.17. And that little blinking V right there means it is attempting to balance that cell. This pack, the reason it has black tape around it is because I ruined a cell on it and I use it to power my monitor that I use when I fly. So, boom. In this case, this cell or this uh, battery is directly off the charger as of recently. I used it to do some test flight yesterday. So we will plug it in and we should see, boom. 4.19, 4.20, 4.22. And what it's gonna do is you see those two blinking Vs, it's gonna drop both of these cells down to match this one at 4.19. And that is it, very simple. It does that automatically. It really doesn't create a whole lot of heat or any noticeable heat to, to speak of. It probably just has a couple tiny resistors along there to that, that actually drain the cells. So nothing big, really simple. I bought mine from Banggood out of their Chinese warehouse for $18.99. Um, decent price. For what I have seen these go for as far as Fleabay or anything else, that, that really is about average for a tool like this. And so I have no complaints there. It did end up on back order and took a quite, quite a while to ship out to me. However, once I received it, again, no issues. I have tested the voltage, it gets a good multimeter. I did find that it is within that hundredth of a volt that I was telling you about. And overall, you know, this is something that I would highly recommend that you keep with you. If this is a hobby that you're going to be in, then you should use one of these. It will help you extend the life of your batteries and get more flights out of them. And that's what it's all about. The more time you spend in the air, the less time you have to spend down, the better you get, the more fun you have, yada 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 so this is the lazy pc thanks for watching have fun